And it also got me thinking about this whole must debaters thing. It's just a really bizarre thing, isn't it? Like, I guess, I guess it's mostly an American thing. And because you know, I'm drinking tea here, by the way, so if you want to join me, please do. But I guess it's mostly an American thing. They have this weird beef that they're having in America, where there's the it's a beef between the mask wearers and the non-mask wearers, right? And from what I can guess, from what I can, you know, uh, work out reading in between the lines, the ones that don't want to wear a mask don't necessarily think the virus is that serious, right? They just think it's a it's a flu. Media have overblown it. The MSN, as they describe it over there, mainstream media have kind of um, overstated its uh, potency or the fact that it can, you know, kill and they don't think it's going to be that harmful to most of the population. They're not really bothered if their grandma or grandma dies. Grandma and grandma themselves aren't that bothered if they die either. They've had a good run. It's just a, just a kind of, you know, general idea behind the non-mask wearers. And the mask wearers are the ones that are just like, you know, um, twitching their blinders at home, wearing a mask inside a car when they're driving, um, you know, snitching on people that are having barbecues outside, taking pictures of people playing with their kids in parks and shit, calling police officers with to moms who are pushing the kids on a swing oh by the way how dumb does that whole thing look do you remember when that woman went and took their kids to the park <laughs> to have her play in the swing and then they, you know and then what the whole community rounded up against this police officer and trying to get him fired and stuff like do you remember that white and white crime that happened how dumb does everything look with everything going on anyway so two very polar opposite camps in it right ones that just fearfully against wearing masks and the other side that's just like you know for all intents purposes going outside is akin to like you know committing um, uh, an act of genocide and there's no middle ground this is the bizarre thing but i guess in the uk from what i've seen f so far there's just been a complete it's just random it's not even there's not even camp it's just completely random the people that do because i don't think the people that i've seen not wearing masks don't believe the viruses exist they do but they just don't think it's uh that much of a threat they need to wear a mask they only pop it out for a couple of minutes that's the kind of idea that they have it's similar to like you know guys in my school back in the day that didn't used to wear condoms and used to have you know sleep with girls they'd be like nah you know it'll be fine i'll just pull out it's like what why would you give you why would you um stack the odds against yourself so much just be, just for the you know the pleasure of a few minutes does especially at that age when you're really really young you know you're not going you're not going for more than 10 like if that do you know what I mean so like why would you like even risk that it doesn't make any sense but they're like nah fuck it man I'm not I'm just gonna pull out you're like okay cool you do your thing and then something happens and then suddenly you're like you know you're left to being the guy I told you so guy and you don't want to be I told you so guy when your friend ends up you know impregnating a 16 year old you don't want to do that just you know it come you come across like a bit of a wanker <laughs> even though it's funny at the time isn't it? you don't want to be that guy but god almighty man it's just a really bizarre thing I don't really understand it because from my point of view, you know, I've I've long held the opinion, you know, I'm not going to go outside or venture out to the outside world until things settle down. Um, you know, whenever they say things are allowed to be open, I'll give it another month. That's just my own personal thing. But if I was hell bent on going outside, I would do anything that would make it safe for me to go outside. If they said wear a mask, I'd wear it. If they say put on gloves, I'd put on gloves. It was not that difficult. Because I, I would rather do that than stay indoors, right? That's the whole kind of bargain you're doing. But some of these people that are hell-bent on going out and hanging out with their friends don't want to do none of that. They just want to, like, live on the edge. Fuck it, let's just live on the edge. And it just doesn't make sense, especially from what I've kind of gone through, my science affection. I'm like, I don't think people realise what a fever does to you or what being ill does to you, especially during these times, right? You're feeling vulnerable. You're in a bit of a stressful situation you might have been on you might have you know your hours might have been reduced you might be on furlough you might not have a job you might have not seen your family in months you're in a weird mental space when you get ill around this sort of time it's not the best time for you to get ill trust me it's not like usual times when you get ill you know sometimes you're at work and you i, I do believe sometimes people manifest illnesses <laughs> to, to themselves right when they're doing something they don't really enjoy I know I used to do it back in the day in school times. You know, people, some, you remember back in the day in school and someone starts coughing and you just start, your whole school, the whole classroom starts coughing. And you just like, shut up. But people sometimes are just, you know, you just start, you cough enough, you get sick. I remember that happened when we were kids. Like, there'll be a kid in class that was like, you know, stuttering and 
you know, a madness, absolutely stuttering every other word he was saying. And then for some reason, some kid thought it was cool and started copying him. And suddenly he develops a stutter that he can't get rid of just because he went to copy somebody. So for sure, you know, those times when you used to manifest a sickness when you were at work because you didn't want to be there, that, that was okay because, you know, you could be at home, you could pop into the shops, whatever. Don't, don't, of course, make sure you don't post something on social media if you don't want your friends finding out that you're, you know, you're skiving. But you could, you know, it's it's a it's a different experience than getting ill now. It's not the best. So, I think for the people that are vehemently against masks, I would say be careful what you wish for in terms of like, ah, oh, it's not that bad, you know, because it is that bad if you get it. You're gonna be out even if you do recover. You're still gonna be out for what the best part of is that what fourteen days you have to quarantine, right? If you get the disease, you have to get tested. All that malarkey. It's a, it's a lot of work that has to be done diving into that thing and and still you're not oh you you also have the you also have the um the risk of not knowing how it affects you it could affect you in a mad way you could be one of the lucky people that you know god bless that dude in america who works on broadway who what, what happened to him he had uh, some sort of blood clot in his leg something when he got the corona covid19 and they had to amputate his leg like you know i'm assuming if you're doing broadway yeah you're probably uh a you know semi decent you know decent shape you probably look after yourself to some degree you know you're on stage most of the week or most yeah every day most of the week for the most part so it's not as if he's some fat of you know this is a pretty in shape dude that decided that suddenly he got covid and you know unluckily for him um, it resulted in him having to lose his leg you don't want that so i just think that debate is really weird to look at man just from the outside looking at him like huh these guys are t- arguing about something that just doesn't make any sense. Like, if you want to go outside, you go. And if they tell you to wear a mask, just wear it. But then I want, but I'm also not a fan of the people that point fingers, the ones that are like posting pictures of people on Instagram and fucking social media. Oh, look at them, they're in the park, they're having fun. It's like, put your phone away. If you don't like people being in the park and you think they might spread it and cause a second spike, go home. You might help not spread a second spike by going home in it, but don't be snitching on people on social media. I think that's deplorable. I hate that sort of stuff. Such that tip. It's just it, it's interesting how I guess maybe the internet's done it right. There's no such. I guess the moment something like TikTok arrives, there's no such thing as corny. It doesn't exist anymore, right? If you've got an app like TikTok, corny doesn't exist because essentially TikTok is built for corny people, right? You'd have to be an, you have to be devoid of any kind of self worth or shame right to put a phone up against a you know a lamppost somewhere and start doing you know you have to you know there has to be you have to be dead inside you know there has to be like a black hole in your heart (laughs) you have to be just like i don't know because how you could just be lasered into that phone looking to that camera doing your and as people are walking by you or just you know just the shame of the world is looking at you it's just a madness so maybe that's the byproduct of it because people have got no shame and we don't really encourage shaming people for being corny or for, you know, making a fool of themselves. I don't know. <coughs> but regardless, what can you do? What answers do I have? None, none, none.